a few of us used to work on the IT corridor and uh, we used to go up and down to regular offices like anyone else and we will know that uh, every time our vehicles had to slow down we know for sure that something some mishap has happened outside we used to see a lot of accidents on our way to our work and every time we see an accident we will see a few people standing there and not doing anything about it uh, what was alarming was not even the number of accidents that we were seeing on the road but the alarming fact was the amount of people number of people standing there and just gaping now that made us think you know had i been in that spot is this what would happen to me and that is when me and my colleagues we decided to go in for some first aid training so that we don't walk away from a victim like that and when we got ourselves trained that's when actually the magic happened like you know it gave us that confidence and gave us that feeling that you could actually do something we realized by following a few simple techniques anybody can save a life so we started alert a ngo which focuses on training the general public in first aid and emergency care in 2007 we had the good fortune to meet uh, dr apj abdul kalam a former president of india and what he stated then became our stated goal so he said train one in every family to date uh, we have reached out to about 32000 plus people the kind of people we have reached out to varies all the way from a fisherman folk uh, to an auto rickshaw driver to the indian coast guard and uh, police uh, so on and so forth uh, when we met people who were running who attended our programs and actually they taught us we learned from them that what they are expecting from us is probably more than what they were getting given these gaps a simulation lab became an inevitable solution to address these matters the sim lab was launched in 2015 A sim lab is exactly what that is. It's a lab. It's a laboratory that people can come in, get to learn their skills, hone it to an extent where they can take it off and practice it outside. We do have a state of the art facility for the simulation as the simulation lab. And I think it plays a very important role in uh, giving that experience to somebody to learn. As it is the subject as we all know is talking about life and talking about situations which are like, you know, possibly life or death and things like that. So when you are learning that kind of a subject Uh, you better have an environment that uh, takes it or helps you take that in very easily so we do have like two typical classroom kind of uh, training rooms and then we have an uh, ample space that is available for simulating different scenarios if i'm not wrong there are about 17 simulation labs in the country in india ours is probably the first and the first of its kind uh, for uh, you know a lay person who can get into a simulation lab and acquire the skills that he needs to handle emergencies so the mannequins that we have at our simulation lab are from a company called ladle and uh, they are the world leaders when it comes to uh, the mannequins starting from the outer skin of the mannequin till the uh, the uh, machinery that is behind it gives you a feel as if you're really handling a human being so every intervention that you are doing when you deliver a technique you would know real time what is the impact on the person so the compression given on the chest when it goes down and hits the heart and recoils this whole activity can be monitored and measured and scored so the resusciani is the closest that can come to giving cpr to a real person another very unique thing that we have in our simulation lab are sim pads now sim pad can be connected to the resusciani and they can remotely assess what the uh, learner is doing so the learner is not even aware that he is being measured so he is not conscious he just gets on to the scene and he possibly does what he has learned uh trainers are our key assets i would say because they are the ones who are delivering the message instilling confidence into people who are coming into our simulation lab they are with us because they feel that this is something they need to be part of and contribute towards changing the way emergency care gets delivered uh, and the second thing is uh, in terms of qualification they are all american heart association certified they sort of hold the entire program together more than the attitude of imparting knowledge they actually help people to get out of uh, uh, you know the inertia that is uh, uh, you know when an emergency occurs and also the mindset change is brought about without their knowledge and the trainers do that very effectively they form teams 
and learn various skills you know for example if if they are learning some you know uh, recovery position our program has a certain methodology where there is a certain theory component and then there is a certain uh, visual demonstration the trainings which we offer is called uh, peer which is nothing but uh, personal empowerment in emergency response and there are three categories in that which is uh, basic advanced and intense at some lab we throw multiple scenarios with the help of our trainers as well as the volunteers to make sure that the participant get used to these scenarios and when they come across any emergency situation they'll be able to go and react and respond in a confident way. Apart from all the uh, tools that we use, we teach them how to handle legal impl implications involved with helping out in, a, in an accident. So when they get to a, a scene of an accident, they, they cannot be forced to be a witness in that accident. And this entire program goes along with uh, uh, a computer-based training program uh, that helps us standardize the program. We believe that through the simulation lab, uh, behavior can be influenced. The simulation labs have been used world over for training nurses, for training doctors and specifically doctors in an ICU who specialized in handling ICUs. Uh, now we have literally what we have done is borrowed that speciality, borrowed that pedagogy and made use of it and that itself is unique in a way. Over the years, Alert has successfully realized its dream of training people in first aid and emergency response. And this SimLab stands as a testimony to that. However, the need of the hour is to replicate such centers in rural India. We truly believe that this is going to take us one step closer to the goal set by a former president of having at least one person trained in first aid and emergency care in every household.